this, this question about funding and uh, something that you mentioned earlier that some Muslim uh, family could not afford to send their, their kids to for private schools or also we don't have enough schools. Um, and going with the idea of separation of religion and, uh, and state, um, has there been any attempt to build some schools, not only really Islamic school, but with some, some Islamic mission that could accomplish both and then therefore could qualify for you know, government funding? Because yeah. here in, in the States, it's last three, four years, there's a big movement on charter schools, but they do not fund religious Right. The religious schools. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying with a community like yours and probably the laws are similar, has there been any attempts in going that direction? Well, you know, there, there has been attempts. Um, even some groups have acts like the Islamic Society of North America. They have actually taken over school buildings that were deserted. They took over the buildings and, and that solves a lot of problems because the whole building is set up you know, in such a way that you know, it can be passed by the Board of Education. And they even put their curriculum next to the board's curriculum. And then that way, they, you know, you're able to get some funding. Um, the problem is, though, sometimes, you know, and this is based on where you live, sometimes the local people have some conditions they put on you, you know, that are very difficult to, to, you know, to, to do a good Islamic education. But if you have people who are involved in education, you have teachers who know the board of education, and then they can work along with the community you know, to really help you, you know, to get the, the local funding. Each area is a little bit different, though. Um, you know, and some people have tried to do Darul Ulooms. They, they, they get a, 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 an area and they set up a madrasa. Um, unfortunately, sometimes they transport something right out of India or, or, or another part of the Muslim world and they put it right down as though you're right, you're, you're in India. You know, and that sometimes doesn't help because it doesn't, it's not relevant. It's good for memorizing Quran, though. But then it's not relevant when you come out of the uh, school to the society itself. So really, um, some attempts have been made. And uh, probably the Islamic Society of North America, they, they have one of the broadest based school systems. Recently, um, Brother Yusuf Islam, there was a meeting with Brother Yusuf Islam and um, Abdullah Idris and um, a few other people, some two teachers from South Africa and uh, Brother Bilal Phillips, Abu Amina, and uh, myself, we were in Toronto and we met about Islamic education. So what they're trying to do now is to uh, revitalize the schools everywhere and, and set new curriculums and to unite the curriculums. There's, there's a move being made you know, like that. And then even to, to make it up to the standards of the state, uh, wherever they are. That's a move being made. That was uh, uh, recent, actually not recent, it's almost a year now, was uh, in uh, Detroit. And I met two principals, you know, uh, Muslims, then they qualify for you know charter schools. I mean, they teach them basically the curriculum, but they incorporated um, you know few subjects, not not a lot. The Arabic was was taught in those school, and some basic religion. You know, they say religious teachings. You know, without being specific, yeah. and that way they they were able to get. Not just in Detroit. Yeah. Detroit has a very large Muslim population, or over a million Muslims in, in the metropolitan Detroit area. And um, so they have, they have political power. And so they're able to get, um, there's Yemenese communities and Lebanese communities that have been there for like 50, 60, 100 years. So, so they have the, the power to be able to uh, you know, get certain um, assistance from the state and, and whatnot. Eventually here, if Muslims unite, we can unite, we can also get some benefits you know, from the taxes that we pay every day. Can I ask you a last question? Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. time for yeah. us. Yeah. Absolutely. It's good. Mm -hmm.